Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Good morning to you. Now if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell and of course give it a thumbs up and share that video around. Now if you're also new here again and you don't know what this channel is about, well it's about crafting, vlogging, cooking and of course traveling. So currently my husband and I are beginning our travels in our caravan around Australia and I will also be quilting as we do that so that's going to be real fun so log in and join us and check out our journey and see what you like and what you've learned about it okay so today moving on we are actually going to do an unboxing now since i've arrived in australia i have bought a new sewing machine and i don't know anything about this brand the brand is called an eleanor hd 1000 so i think the hd stands for heavy duty I thought it was for high definition, but then when I thought about it, I thought, no, it has to be heavy duty. So Eleanor's Swiss design is called HD 1000. So we're going to unbox it together. So I haven't opened a box on this trip. I really haven't. It's been sitting on the table. And so we are going to discover what's in it together. Now I know nothing about this sewing machine. So I'm hoping it's good for the traveling and quilting around Australia. So um, hence the reason why I looked for sort of a heavy duty one that will be able to withstand the quilting. Okay, so let's go check it out and hopefully, fingers crossed, <laughs> it will do the job while we're on the road. So let's go check it out now. All right, guys, so let's open up this beauty and see what it's like. I'm using a scissors here that I think probably not the best one, but let's go. Well, it's really packed. Let me show you that. Really beautifully packed. You get your instruction booklet as you do. On top, there is some um, usual items you would get. My concern is if I wondered if there was going to be a, um, a quarter inch foot in there, which I think it does look that like there's one there as well. You get some needles, some bobbins, some machine oil. Uh, a picker and various types of um, press of foot. So I think I see three in there. I would imagine there is a standard one on the machine already. So let's get it out. Uh, I'm trying, but I don't think it's... There we go. Oh, it actually has a lid. Oh, that's pretty good. I wasn't expecting that, that's pretty good. Let's put it down to the side. Oh, it looks pretty, guys. And it's heavy as well. So definitely the HD stands for um, heavy duty. Let's put it on the ground, I don't want to drop it. <laughs> okay. All right, that is what she looks like. To be honest, it is not as small as I anticipated it was going to be. So it's been packaged well. It's got a handle. It is very heavy actually. It's constructed really nicely. Um, let's get this out of the front plate and see what's in there. All right, that's the press of fur or the power fur. Okay, let's start from the back. I haven't seen the front of it, but I'll show it to you. So you've got your two spools of thread there. The construction on the back looks more or less the same as the Eleanor brand there as well. I'm going to switch the background. Um, standard machine. It 
it is very much, um, I would say, a semi basic <laughs> machine. Um, I paid 650 Australian dollars for this. So, this comes up really nice and easy. in the corner up there. I'm going to give it a good zoom in so you can see what it looks like. So just looking at it, I can see it. It, it looks all right, guys, to be honest. I think for what I want to use it for, it looks fine. As I said, the construction itself is nice and heavy. I'm not sure what size the throat plate is here, but what I would say it feels good. My, I can actually spread my hands. So I'm probably thinking it's probably about six inches in between or four or five and a half probably. But it looks fine. It really does look fine. It will help me with the quilting actually. Um, I like it to be honest. I'm happy with it. I think for me the most important thing definitely it has a little bit of weight. It's not plasticky and not light. So, so far so good. Um, you've got your balance wheel on the side there as, as I said normal construction for a um, sewing machine it looks really fine I'm really pleased with it to be honest so what I will do is actually switch it on get it all plugged in and um, have a little go and fit it around and do some sewing with it and see what it looks like and thread it so yeah so let's go do that now guys Okay guys, so I've set up the machine now and I have uh, removed this area here so that I can get to the bobbin. There was a spare bobbin in, it wasn't threaded obviously. And so I'm now beginning to wind the bobbin. So it's normal construction to actually wind the bobbin, it actually goes through the first thread guide here and then to your tension there and then obviously to the bobbin. And I'm going to use a foot controller to um, continue winding it up. I did find it a little bit noisy, but um, I guess that's okay. Um, it's winding really nicely and quick also. I think that's fine. I don't need a full bobbin. So I'm just going to cut it. I had my little snippers a minute ago. I don't know what I've done with it. Okay. And I'm going to put it in. So normal the way you would for um, any other sort of machine of this particular style to add the bobbin in. So through there and slot it in really. Okay, and now I have to thread it. So I am assuming it stays in this thread guide here because that gives the machine a little bit, the thread in a bit of tension. And it still comes around there. I probably should have read the instructions, but nevertheless. Right, I had to unlock the, the, the wheel just to make sure that you can actually wind the bobbin. So. I think it's there. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> interesting. No. Okay. 
Okay. And then there. And obviously in the hole. It does have a light above there, which is really good. And um, I think it does. Yes, you can thread it also, but I can see today. <laughs> Today is not one of the blind days where my eyes are playing up and where I'm at this window here it's quite light it's quite bright so I'm going to thread it normally and see what happens I'm not sure if I've actually done this properly but it is moving it's not tight so that will indicate it's threaded properly but I will check it and see what it's supposed to be like um, Let's pick up the bobbin thread. Done. Okay, and put this back up. What I would say is that it feels nice and sturdy, nice and strong. It's a little bit noisy, I guess, because I don't know, it's probably new still, but. Uh, most likely it might just simmer down as time goes by and uh, you have your reverse here you have your stitch length as, as well here um, you got your stitch utility stitches up there and uh, you got your sort of um, middle ground to, to serve your stitches there also and this dial here is to work in construction with that okay you also get well, the measuring tape the standard at the bottom of the machine for some reason I'm thinking you can probably use this with a table because of the way it's constructed on this side here all right but what I'm going to do is get some fabric and um, I'm going to try sewing with it and see if it comes up like um, for the little things that you get in this pouch, um, the usual, you get your screwdrivers and oil and pickers. You've only been given um, four, four machine feet, one, two, three, plus the ones on there, okay? And that's it really, that's all you've gotten as well as the cover. So I would say it's a good machine if you're going sewing lessons with it. You can take it with you and um, you can use. I think the throw plate is literally about six inches or at least five and a half. I haven't got my measuring tape so I can't tell you exactly what it is. Um, but it does look a lot bigger than what I used to use at school when I was teaching. Um, it does feel nice and strong as well. Um, but I'm going to do a little bit of sewing and see what actually happens with it. I have a little bit of fabric here, so let's see if I can do a quick one and see. Let's put that down. Ooh. That is moving really nicely and good really good so that looks really well guys i'm pleased with that that's me really putting my foot down so it's moving really nicely yeah that looks really good i'm pleased with that let's have a look at the tension at the back and see what that comes up like also So, tension looks really good at the back. Stitch length is obviously very small, it's a number two, but it's not a big deal. I'm just testing it out at the moment. Let's play around and go on B and see what we get. Okay. Zigzag stitch. Not bad. Let's try something else now. Um, I'm going to go on C and I'm going to change there. Just a loose zigzag. Let's try D. So, really, guys, it's very 
basic utility stitches on there. Um, I would definitely say it's a starter machine, but it's fine for the purpose that I need it for. These are my stitch length I'm adjusting here, so let's see what it comes out like. Yeah, looks fine. So, obviously, this machine, I am not sure if I can actually use a darning foot in it. You never know, I may be able to get away with it, but obviously it didn't come with one, I'll have to research that. That is the stitches, it just did, and I know I'm using white. Um, but ideally, it's sewing really nicely, which I'm pleased with, which is really what I really want it for. So it'd be ideal for my piecing, and I will continue to use it once I have my baby when she comes with me. I'm talking about my sewing machine. <laughs> Not a real baby, <laughs> okay? Um, so yeah, but other than that, I would say it's good. I'm gonna do some piecing, and obviously, so the next time you see me, we'll be actually sewing in the caravan and doing some piecing. What I do love so far is definitely that light underneath there, which is a good plus for me because obviously I wear glasses. Um, so that's ideal. And I do like the, the throat place um, where it's nice and big because I have big hands and if my hands can fit between there. So the sort of quilting I'll be doing is straight line quilting, which I think will be ideal for this and it'll help me to achieve what I want while I'm on the road. So guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I shall see you in the next one. That's all I've got for you today. So bye for now, guys, and happy quilting, and crafting, cooking, vlogging, and everything else that I do. <laughs> see you later, bye.